Yeah, hi guys, it's Jimmy, and uh, today I've got a bit of an unboxing to do. So, it's got a new watch here. I picked this up about, I don't know, three weeks ago, and uh, I thought, yeah, I'll do an unboxing on this watch, show you what I got. Now, yeah, you'll, be, you'll be knowing what brand it is, obviously. It's an Audemars Pig, eh? And this year, guys, it's been very slow trying to get any new watch from either AP or Rolex, so it's been a bit of a struggle getting the pieces I want. Um, this one was not actually on the list of what I wanted, but it's quite a nice one, so I took this one as it came in. As you can see, this is the Woodmans Big A Royal Oak Offshore 42mm in indigo blue. And the blue rubber strap, blue ceramic pushes, blue ceramic crown, and uh, with the red accents on the uh, chronograph hand and sub dials. Not typically the kind of watch I'd go for, being quite bright, but uh, over the last couple of weeks, it's really grown on me. And uh, enjoying wearing it, well, probably because it is a lot different to everything else I've got, at least color wise. Lovely summer watch. Yeah, and as I was saying, uh, difficult year this year trying to get the pieces that I put my name down for. Um, the actual, there's the three watches I've had my name down on. Uh, only one of them has come through. And I'll do another video to show you that one. As for the other two, I'm still waiting. This one came in the meantime. So I grabbed it and I really have fallen in love with it. It's definitely a keeper. This will stay in my collection. Just beautiful finish. Quite a bulky watch. Fairly thick. And just uh, really like the ceramic pushes and, and the crown. They are um, just so cool in that blue colour. They really pop. And so does the dial, obviously. Beautiful, thick, luxurious blue colour. Strap matches beautifully. Very comfortable rubber strap on these too. It's actually nice and uh, pliable. It's not one of those sort of uh, thick, harsh type of rubbers that are a bit stiff and uncomfortable. It's actually very flexible, very comfortable. It's got those little tabs there to hold the rings. Great uh, buckle on there. And... Uh, it's a gorgeous watch. Really enjoying it. A lot of fun wearing this watch. It's got a very young feeling about it. Unfortunately, they're quite expensive, so I don't know too many young guys that can actually afford them. That's the only problem. I feel a little bit funny wearing it at the start, thinking it's for a younger kind of guy. Someone in their 20s, maybe. But a lot of 20 year olds that can afford this watch, I guess. But, um, yeah, as I was saying with the APs, uh, getting a bit more exclusive, a bit harder to get. Um, gold pieces, like my gold one here, you can get them, but obviously the price is very expensive. And where did I put that other watch? Oh, it's on my wrist there, one. As for watches like uh, one on my wrist, so gloves. Sorry, guys, I'm wearing gloves because my hands are a bit rough at the moment. I've been doing a lot of manual labour in my yard. But as for this watch here, getting very hard to get the stainless steel uh, Royal Oaks. And when I was getting these pieces, at least these these two Royal Oaks, uh, you could get them with some discount. 
And now, when I went and got this blue one here, there was no discount. So they said, oh, they'll, you know, give me a couple of little bits and pieces to make the deal sweet. And I mean, at the end of the day, all I got was a couple of books and uh, an AP loop, a little, nice little loop in a box, which I've already got one from before. So there's nothing special about that really. Just the kind of things they hand out at their events. So, yeah, they're very much like Rolex now. They're just keeping their price. You either pay it or you just leave. And, uh, yeah, actually with Rolex, I'm sort of getting over them now. Waiting forever and, yeah, no promises, no guarantees on what I'm waiting for. So, I'm sort of just going to do whatever pleases me now, not really worry about it too much, I'm sick of asking, so yeah, just uh, look into other avenues, different watches, different brands, right now it's AP, uh, waiting on one more to come in, in a 44 variant, 44 mil, uh, I won't tell you what it is yet, hopefully it turns up this year, if not maybe I'll have to wait till next year, I don't know, here in Australia they're sort of hard to get, and um, we only get stock here if uh, they're struggling selling it overseas, I guess. And at the moment, they're having no trouble selling their product. So we'll see when that one turns up. Anyway, guys, sorry for taking that bit of a break. Haven't put any videos up for a while. But uh, I just thought I'd quickly do this one so you can see this. Uh, yeah, it's just love the blue um, I did have a white gold Submariner the Smurf with the blue doll and uh, I really enjoyed that with that beautiful blue color this one sort of reminds me of the same thing just the beautiful thick blue color it's really well executed and uh, the ceramic pushes and the, and the, and the um, crown just really finish it off so yeah, any comments guys, let me know. And uh, yeah, I've got a few more watches to show you, some new ones. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.